Hey guys, so I have some important news that there is this legislation in the EU, which is the EIDAS, Digital Identity Reforms. It also includes something rather concerning, where they want you to trust their certificates, and this is something that could turn into a possible man-in-the-middle attack opportunity. I did cover malicious root certificate authority possibilities and how this abuse actually turned out to be in the news a couple times, including a BIOS level backdoor in Lenovo laptops and also a trust core, which is actually a certificate authority who happened to be involved with potential man-in-the-middle activity and some contracts with some in the defense community. This is a good video to start with to understand the problem a bit, but let's see a bit more in this article from Computer Weekly and how it may affect users. And so, as it mentions here, all websites are authenticated by the root certificates, and that's controlled by the certificate authorities. So when you come up here and you check out the security of a website, it shows the padlock. Sometimes it'll be a green padlock, depending on your browser. And you can see this one's protected, as they say, by Cloudflare. And there's a lot of controversy around that, in fact, because Cloudflare is the one that is handling these certificates, that also makes them allowed to do a man-in-the-middle attack if they so choose this is a big issue with a man-in-the-middle attack. You are here, your home network is this one right here, and normally you go through your ISP and you end up retrieving a website or other type of protocol over the internet. Now, with a man-in-the-middle attack, there's another party somewhere between here and here, and that party manipulates the traffic along its path, and it may be done with ARP spoofing or other techniques including DNS related. Now, with a man in the middle certificate, that is controlled by a malicious party. Now, even if you're on a local area network, you can be man in the middle by anyone who runs a Linux box in the same network. So if someone connects to your Wi-Fi, they can potentially man in the middle and deliver a certificate that allows them to break the HTTPS. So that means your passwords, your conversations, everything that's going on over HTTPS would be able to be read by that attacker. And so with this proposition in this law is going to add whoever they want as a new authority, a new certificate authority to the EU trusted list. So this will force browsers to come out for anyone who gets a browser in the EU will have to have this controlled by the EU government uh, approved certificates they'll have to accept. And so if someone did a man in the middle attack along the way, they could deliver a trusted certificate to break the HTTPS on your websites and it would still appear secure. EU is saying that this is to push back against big tech. So that is some of the lines that are being delivered to sell this law. It's a big issue, though, because if they decide to take advantage of it, they could take advantage of it to perform a man-in-the-middle attack on EU uh, citizens and residents. So anyone using the Internet in the EU that happens to visit X website uh, could be delivered a certificate that appears secure but could also be manipulated and allow someone like an ISP to read that traffic unencrypted in plain text. So it's a big issue here and we sh need to talk about it a bit. So I did this quick video. I just wanted to bring attention to this. So it's a huge issue if they do force this on all browsers in the EU. Now, of course, users, of course, could go outside that and download from another location or whatnot. But of course, you know, if it's a law, you got to follow it. Uh, this is an issue. We should push back against it. And I wanted to bring it to everyone's attention and just kind of break it down in a really quick way. Make sure to follow. Go check out the blog. It's free to follow and you can read there without registering. Uh, you can follow me there. You can also follow over at Faustodon, which is a Mastodon. Uh, Mastodon's a decentralized, similar to Twitter. And you can also follow me over at Twitter at TV Privacy. 
Make sure to like the video, leave a comment if you have one. If you want to buy me a coffee, you always could over at the blog, but you obviously don't have to. Uh, the biggest help you can do is just simply sharing these videos and articles. Helps bring those videos up higher in the rankings and shows them to be a more trustworthy source. So make sure to follow guys and share the video and I'll be back later with more on how to protect your security and privacy.